bro. So it explains why all the sweat. Waiting for it. <laughs> okay, so I'm basically a microbiologist for the past 13 years, which explains why I'm sweating so much right now. I'm so used to working in the lab. And uh, I'm doing research and production mostly for microbiology for agricultural applications such as composting and even farm usage for durians and vegetables and whatnot. So, uh, okay. My, my company, Microbes, basically have two main products. So we have our composting microbes here, which we will actually give to farmers or composting companies in order to expedite the composting process. So for example... The, uh, the mic closer to you. Uh, yeah. For example, composting, the co composting projects that my company has done before is like the one on the picture over there, where we actually compost cow manure uh, using our microbes and with our microbes, we actually are able to expedite the process within 30 days itself. Okay, so the next one, the next uh, project that we also be dealing with is actually uh, food waste composting for restaurant. This is a restaurant in uh, Jama KL where we are actually using this exact same tumbler. Also, at the same, uh, same thing, using uh, yes, using food waste. We use our own specific grounds and microbes in order to compost the food waste into usable compost, which then then can be used for. The, uh, for plants and everything. Uh. Then the next one, okay, our biggest client is actually in Sabah. This one is an oil palm plantation. We are engaged with a composter there where they actually utilize our microbes, the same microbes here, in order to bring down oil palm waste. So oil palm waste are examples of like EFD, which is empty food branches, and also the affluent. Combine both together, we compost it within 45 and 60 days, and immediately from the middle of that, they actually sent to the plantation. So from there, we actually created a zero waste uh, system where all the waste from the mill composted and immediately goes to the plantation. Hold on, interrupt you for a while. Do yep. you mind if we get Gideon to help with the translation? Yes, only if you need. Yeah. Yes, okay, I'm sorry, I'm a really pure super banana, so yeah, Gideon here will help translate into Chinese. Can get a mic? Can you get a mic? Uh, one, one banana, one apple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very great. Testing, testing. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so which part do you want to translate? Um, you can just carry on. Yeah, okay, okay. So, uh, as I said, Microsoft itself, we are basically a waste, uh, waste manufacturing, sorry, waste uh, remediation company where we deal with whatever solid waste and liquid waste. Initially, we started off uh, dealing with cafeterias where they have grease traps and they do all the washings. Normally, the grease trap there is to accumulate the oil. If not, if the oil goes into the piping, it will actually clog up the pipes. So what we do is that we provide our microbes to eat up all this oil so it doesn't clog, clog up the pipes. So, but of course, as you know, doing MCO, they have a lot of cafes. <laughs> so now our main focus is actually towards the solid agricultural waste. So that's what I'm dealing with. Chicken farms, cow manure,他们的工作是蛮妥的 他们不是有割出来一个那个油割，对不对？啊，放在厨房后面那个哦。啊，他们的那个微生物呢，它强到它能够把那个油转换为成，或者是它用热水煮，对不对？啊，from so here is how I actually do all my identification. This is a factory dish, uh, N3 medium factory dish in order to isolate nitrogen, nitrogen uh, fixation bacteria. So our air has about 78% uh, nitrogen and most of it the plant can't use because it's air. So what this microbe does is that it converts atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia and then into nitrate so that the bacteria, so that the plant plants can use it. So this is an example of how I do the testing in the lab itself. So the green color is the one that is negative, there's no nitrogen uh, fixation bacteria. And the blue one here, like this whole place, all blue, this is rich with nitrogen fixing bacteria. So this is what I actually do with that. I isolate them, I will identify them for their functional properties, and then I'll put it into my formulation. So that's where we come with my biofertilizer product. This side is for the farm, 
basically you can treat this like yogurt. So you drink yogurt, you drink vitamin to help you know, increase your immunity, help fight uh, disease. This is exactly the same for plants. On top of having uh, a defense increasing in immunity or function for this one, it also has all this uh, other biofertilizing bacteria, which is the nitrogen fixing, phosphate subsidization, which is. Okay, okay, hold on, bro. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. One <laughs> 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 We are waiting for them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 呃，很多次都是像这位师傅学习哦，啊，呃，考虑师傅啊。那么呢，他刚才有讲到一个很精彩的 point 哦，呃 ，correct me if I'm wrong 啊， yeah. 我是听到哦，他那个呃，这个 petri dish 里面的这个微生物啦哦，可以把我们空气里面的那个奶头在哪，也就是那个氮啊，大家都啊、呃、知道什么是氮磷钾 NPK 的哦，也就是昨天啊啊啊，大家都有稍微提起过的一个话题啊，这这个东西可以把空气里面。七十八线哦的那个氮啊，转换成免费的啊氮、呃、肥 ，for 我们的植物哦，就是 nitrogen is for making the plants leaf green right， 啊、哦，所以有这个过后呢，啊、呃，它的那个叶子会变得比较深青，啊 ，correct， it's a major part of the macronutrients for plants， is your nitrogen， your phosphorus and potassium， 哦 ，so for， 还有另外一个这个呢，是做什么的？哦、oh, okay. ，phosphate 啊 ，yeah，phosphate、so, 是呃、uh, P right P， so phosphate is 呃、uh, ，I mean this bacteria is a phosphate sensitive bacteria. If you I mean if you're a farmer, you know there's rock phosphate, calcium phosphate. This bacteria is able to solidize the phosphate because when you apply rock phosphate to the soil, it's not going to break down because it's not soluble to water.、Mm -hmm. So what the this bacteria does is that you can see here, there's a clearing zone here, meaning to say they actually broken down the phosphate, releasing the nutrients so that the plant can. So balance back to that. It sort of like releases nutrients because you, you can apply a lot of fertilizer to the soil. One is if it's you apply something like urea, it's very water soluble. It's going to go into your rivers. One time rain, everything wash off. 就是说，如果我们把那种呃不能被植物吸收的呃化学肥，好像呃不只能化学肥，还有那种 so called organic 的肥料，好像我们的那种。啊、呃，磷石粉，我们是叫做 rock phosphate 啦，它是基本上一种矿石来的。那么它矿石里面的成分呢，有很高这个呃 P， 也就是氮磷钾的那个磷的那个成分。那么如果我们单单只是把它放在泥土里面的话呢，它是无法被我们的植物吸收。那么怎样把那个东西好像啊解脱掉，让那个植物吸收呢？就是用它这个。Phosphate solubilizing bacteria， 它就是把它转换为植物能够吸收的东西了哈。不然的话呢，你越放越多，其实不是对你的植物好，它反而会制造 pollution 来啊，水污染。因为你们每次一直淋水啊，下雨天的时候，尤其是最近了哈，我自己淹水啊，你们那些啊，这个石粉哦。会反而导致冲进你们的那个水源里面。那么你们等一下在浇水的时候呢，啊，会出问题的。所以它这个菌是非常非常大的。So for rock sweat is the other way around. If you put too much rock for sweat, it begins locked up in the soil and there's no phosphorus to break it. Biodiversity and microbes in the soil, and overall, it may benefit your plant in the short term, but in the longer run, your plant will not thrive. 放什么？太多啊，化学肥或者你放甚至太多那个石灰粉的话呢，它会导致你的土壤会慢慢破坏。但是如果你没有加对的微生物，所以它今天所要跟我们分享的就是对的微生物。不是不是那个麦克风？啊，就是它那个麦克风，它好像有很多麦克风。来，我们大家同意一下，我也在学习。Terry，All right. So next, I'll just be showing you a brief demo on how we do composting. How I do composting at home. So basically, okay. So basically, you use all types of waste for your composting process. If you're okay, if you're at home, obviously it's mostly food waste. You can have your. Wow, that is not what I thought. Yeah, yeah, that is. 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 That
Oh, you can have your coffee ah, waste, so food waste, your vegetable cutting, <laughs> your eggs, uh, eggshells, uh, cut foods and everything. So more plastic can be used. So more organic plastic. 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 So Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> the, the, major, the, the major conditions for composting is two things. Okay, like three things if I include my microsoft of course. Is air, moisture. Composting is 100% aerobic. Aerobic means the presence of oxygen. If you do composting in aerobic where there's no oxygen, that is not composting. That is bokashi. Bokashi and composting is different. So need a lot of this. What is it? That the air is very important. Ah, the oxygen is very important. Oxygen is very important. Sorry. Okay, this one is. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay. As I mentioned, uh, two things to to take care of during manual or composting is your air and your moisture. Air easy. Just that. This machine also the same thing. If you have this, and you can handle up to 100 meters of waste. Just turn. the turning process. Uh, Mix. mixes, mixes Mix. it and, incre and increases the surface of the waste right, to air, so they can get more oxygen. But if your moisture content is too high, like uh, you see this one, this moisture content 80, 90 percent. Composting process needs to be about 50 to 60 percent in order to compost properly. So normally for any composters, uh, especially food waste composters, uh, we will add in sawdust to buffer. Mm -hmm. Sawdust, sawdust, oh, because it's sawdust. Okay, it has to be made of sawdust. It has to be made of sawdust. It has to be made of sawdust. 那刚才有呃讲到呢，其实它做这个堆肥，除了空气，就是我们的氧气之外哈，它还需要一个呃调对水量或者水分的那个潮湿度。Oh, oh Colina, Joanne has a good question. So, uh, if wood chip or sawdust is difficult to get, right? Are there any other alternative? Through the mousse chip, the one or mousse fun, the one we can use for composting. Well, okay. The obviously you can still use compost itself to be the buffering agent as well. But you need your compost is to be dry. Most compost when it's already matured. Uh, so majority, majority, this is very important, right? Yeah, this actually is very important if you want to do proper composting. This, this compost, this, this sawdust here, this sawdust here, this. Replaced by soy, just normal soy. Soy cannot soy. Uh, soy powder a little bit too. Okay, we call it hydrotropic, means it absorbs too much water moisture. Uh, so, too much water. How about this? Uh, what? Okay, cocoa peat. Okay, I tested before. The microbes don't grow very well on coco peat because it's very uh, we call it inert. I don't know what you call it. Oh, uh, coco peat is our that that yes, we are yeah, hong ah, made that that fern oh, made that that fern oh. Ah, he said his waste food, ah, not like that. Because that thing is coarse, you know. Yeah, it's like coarse and bit lah. So it's like the microbes don't really grow and it will still stay the same. Yeah. So the best is uh, best is either you get sawdust or you get uh grinded rice husk. Oh, grinded rice has to be uh, my home. Yeah, okay. Uh, my home grinded rice has uh, that is the powder form, and also there is the powder the form. The loose one, one uh, the rough one, if it's busy, busy, it's too much lignin, then you cannot absorb moisture. Oh. So, so the idea is getting something that can fun 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 the my home will be like the scum body. Ah, scum body. It's just getting something that's dry that can absorb moisture so that you don't uh, so that the moisture content is within 50-60% So normally uh, what I'll do is that once we mix everything together uh, I got a question now, uh, how do you know it's 50-60% of okay, moisture exactly. So do you need try anything? Water, huh? No, no, don't add water. Okay, for food composting at home, we don't add water. So, to answer your question, mm. for 50-60%, normally we do a squeeze test. 
Okay, obviously the sun needs to be mixed better. I'm using my hand only. Mm. So if you do a squeeze test, okay. if there's no okay, water, test. there's no water coming out. Mm. It's okay. It's good. Mm. And your hands all sticky. So this is okay. Uh, slightly sticky. So if this part is dry, if we squeeze it, then my hand is not okay. Not if, you, sticky if, okay like, if you can dust it off, mm. that means it's too dry. Oh, uh, so it must stick to your hand. It must stick a little bit oh. to your hand. Slightly stick. Slightly stick. Uh, it's okay. Not on the hand, uh, on the hand. Uh, so this is not moisture, not moist enough. Uh. This is not moist enough. Mm. You to mix it a little bit more. Mm, uh, so okay. later we'll go around. We'll show everybody how to oh, prepare okay. the compost and everything. Uh, 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 that's the one that my uh, my big uh, my big client in Sabah. That's, that's what they're doing. Once they get the fiber out, we actually call it empty food bunches (EFB). Then when they compose directly. So they just add in the microbes, they add in the effluent from the meal and they compose that and then that one they don't have to mix. So oh, closer to the oh, sorry. That one they don't have to mix with anything because the moisture is okay and they have bigger missionaries there. So what they do is that they will grind the, the fibers first, make sure it's smaller particles, and then they will turn very frequently and then they'll add water. So this one, because they have a big setup there, you don't need to do so meticulous like this. Fantastic. We can do it. Nice. You can just get my number, I will talk to you again. <laughs> More professional one. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's so you're saying that palm oil uh, meal uh, waste, uh, empty fruit punch, you no need to add anything, you can just add your microbe on top of it, directly can compose. Correct. They have a big facility. Uh, 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 帮我confirm那个很重要的东西 那它的那个恐怖就很适合用了 the rotor egg smell, your foul smell, your methane, mm. it's all produced through anaerobic. The reason why we actually do compost in general is because we want to do it anaerobically so that it is all your food waste or all your waste in general don't go to the landfill. Landfill is all anaerobic. That's why there's a lot of uh, greenhouse gas emission there. All your bike, all your uh, methane. Methane especially is 20% more toxic than carbon dioxide in terms of uh, global warming like, in general. 如果在一个没有氧气的状态做恐怖做堆肥之下还读更低碳水哦它比二氧化碳超过二十倍的毒性嘛哦哦我觉得这个是一个很好的方法我觉得这个是一个很好的方法我觉得这个是一个很好的方法我觉得这个是一个很好的方法我觉得这个是一个很
过。The environment 啊 ，It's all about environment。所以如果我们把这个水电呢，乱乱就是在我们的空气这样子流失的话呢，会会导成一个空气污染哦。但是呢，有些他们会没有把这个农中家园呢，他们就是把它转换成一个可以用的一个啊、呃、材料一个资源哦，那么东西。What do they use this uh, uh, methane for? Is it gas? Is it fuel? They produce gas. It's a flammable uh, gas. So uh, only what they do? They will burn it. Uh -huh. The burning process creates electricity. Oh, 拿来产生电源。哦，所以如果是在一个 closed system 里面呢，其实这个东西其实还有办法用的。但是如果你把这个食物呢乱乱丢进去垃圾场里面，一个 landfill 拿来埋地的话呢，那就没有空气了嘛。哦，你埋在地下，它就会产生这个 methane gas。啊，这个就是空气污染了。But even for biogas as well, uh, it doesn't consume hundred percent of your waste. You put in, let's say, you put hundred percent into your biogas, seventy percent will still come out as waste. You only convert thirty percent into methane, and plus one biogas chamber, one two million to create. And you have to have links to uh, TMB in order to take electricity. If not, it's just going to go to waste. You just have to burn it off. So whatever uh, waste on the biogas, in the end, so you still compost it. Unless you're just going to throw it away, this is going to be a waste. Oh, because it, uh, this system, if it produces methane gas, actually, it's not 100% able to convert it into methane gas. Because it has a source of energy. So, if you have a source of energy, you still need to remove it. So, if you have a source of energy, you still need to remove it. So, if you have a source of energy, you still need to remove it. So, if you have a source of energy, you still need to remove it. So, if you have a source of energy, you still need to remove it. So, if you have a source of energy, you still need to remove it. So, if you have a source of energy, you still need to remove it. So, if you have a Yes. So we should not do composting so often. <laughs> no, you should do composting the right way. Ah, uh, the wrong uh, way lah. We are doing family throw to throw all these are like oxygen. Yeah, I mean if you don't turn it, if you just dump it into a bin yeah. and not turn it and everything, it's just it's not going to compost. Producing well. more methane gas. It's going to produce more methane gas. It's going to produce all the foul smell stuff. And then if you let's say, as especially like I mentioned about hydrogen sulfide, the rotten egg smell. If you if you get that smell and then you take that compost. And you apply it to your plants, your plants will die. Yeah. Mm. Because all anaerobic, anaerobic produces bad stuff. Or I would say anaerobic, you're going to produce a specific product. You do anaerobic to produce alcohol. You do anaerobic to produce acids. That's okay. You do anaerobic to produce biogas, methane, for electricity. That's okay. But if you want to produce compost, it's always with oxygen. Mm. So if your compost smells bad, then you know that there's a something, wrong. something wrong with it. Okay. Huh? To be honest, like even this or so, it will smell bad initially a little bit. But the key indicators is if it smells very sour, it smells like rotten egg. There was something wrong with it. That one, what you to do? You to like, gargle a little bit more, mix even more, mix, mix, add more oxygen, or if let's say moisture too high, then add a little bit more sawdust or any sort of brown stuff in there. 明白。那其实呃，我们今天不是说我们在家里哦做恐怖是错的。其实我们做恐怖是要找对的方法来做恐怖，也就是。要有比较多氧气控制水分的环境下做恐怖。那那些如果我们把我们的那个厨余呢丢进去一个桶里面啊，然后我们没有去转它，我们只是盖着它，那呃可能不是一个正确的方法做，因为我们会产生就是这个空气污染那个 methane gas 哈啊。那么我们怎样知道我们的恐怖什么堆肥是做对是做错的呢？就是我们要用我们的嗅觉知道一下它的味道，如果是有酸的味道，有臭鸡蛋的味道哈，他说。还是有那个免变 gas 的味道哦，有 gas 的味道，就是我们可能需要去调整一下它的水分，或者调整一下它的那个空气啊。Uh, so we can adjust these two parameters to make it right, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, okay. So a bit, a bit more scientific. Uh, during composting process, there's uh, okay moisture aeration is one. Even go a little bit scientific is the CN ratio. So CN ratio determines how long to compose your product. So let's just say if you talk about EAB fibers, carbon and nitrogen the passing. Your CN is very high. It's about fifty-five to one percent. Sorry, fifty-five to one. Fifty-five or not one. Okay. So for EAB, this is palm oil waste. Even sawdust is alone. EFB is a yield of the sawdust. Sawdust is the wood and wood fibre. Okay, about fifty-five, fifty-five to sixty to one. This normal compost composting ratio, the golden number is thirty to one. Oh, uh, if you just use 
啊 EFB 啊，我们由中扎跟木屑来做的堆肥的话呢，它的那个啊 carbon 啊跟奶头菌的那个对比呢是五十五到一，但是这个 carbon 的成分就是我们碳的成分太高，所以我们要把它调整到这个对的成分，也就是三十对比一啊，说。还有门学习一下。Two ways are tested. Thirty days, forty-five days is okay because you're adding a lot of other stuff inside. You're adding a little bit. Sometimes your vegetables have a little bit nitrogen inside. Sometimes you add meat also is also okay. We we'll also add some nitrogen inside. The only reason why you don't add uh, meat into, let's say, home composting, if you're doing it at home, is because bugs like so all your oh. flies, your uh, black soldier fly, where you will like the bugs because it, the smell encourages them to come. So uh, if you're doing it inside your house. Maybe don't add meat. Don't add meat. Don't add dairy into your compost. If you're doing it outside, you can still do it. Especially if you use this tumbler here. So if you use this tumbler, the ah wait ah I I I oh okay yeah yeah. Maybe ask a question that Andy asked also very interesting. I think uh uh what you're saying is that if we want to add meat inside, we can do it in here or outdoors, but not in our home because of insects are correct. Oh ah, Dr. Sir, if we want to add meat inside, we can do it in here. 不是褐色的东西，就是说青色的东西。基基本上 C 就是我们褐色的东西 ，brown 它都没丢，就是落叶树枝啊啊、呃、那个紫皮香那种东西嘛哈。那么如果我们是 N 的东西 ，nitrogen 的东西，通常是青色、绿色、潮色的东西，就像我们的厨余这样子。嗯、呃，所以他是说我们可以把那种肉啊、骨碎啊也加进去，只是呢，如果你们是在家里做的话，可能会引虫。但是如果我们有菜园啊，我们可以放在外面。啊，但是要用对的方法来做啦。啊，安迪刚才有一个问题是吗？哦、oh, ，Good question. How do we know is the right ratio of thirty to one or fifty five to one？ 啊，怎样知道怎样知道是对的那个对比？要要成分。The easiest definitely is to set the level. 哦，先给他就可以了。那也是，现在也是上上，也是做点这些 research 啊。然后 people have already done this research， so you can uh probably need my help to go and search for the journals ah to find out okay this one how many percent， this one how many percent。Left or right？ 常常都是要说一个。Because I think you spend money like that， so you can find me。Yeah， I'll let you know。大家听到啊，找他就可以了。So that's why I say this is a bit more scientific lah. If you want to do home based one, ah, you just mix agak agak le, agak agak le. One to one, ah. One to one, ah. So you add one one part to this, one part of your sawdust. Oh, so if it's one to one, let's say if we, ah, add one part sawdust and one part, ah, let's say, ah, waste ah. Let's say one kg, one kg lah. What is the CN ratio for that? If we add it to the Let's say we add one kg of the mukang, and one kg of the chuyu, then what is the ratio? It will be slightly higher than 30, of course, maybe 35, 40 to 1. Oh, because it will be actually higher than 30 to 1. It will be 30 to 1. Because you have to add the CN from both sides. So you CN from waste and you CN from sawdust. You add together, then you divide by 2. So these chuyu of the chuyu, it also has the chuyu. 碳的成分就是硒的成分，但是它 N 的成分也有更高，所以如果我们把两个东西加在一起呢，它不是一对一的，它反而呢，它的那个啊、呃、N 啊，所以它的硒的 ratio 会更高，它的硒的对比更高，所以它会超过三十。嗯。So okay, uh, just to show you how the final product will be, this is quite old lah, but. 哦，那个是成出来的。The key indicator for uh really finished commercial compost is one thing is color. It's going to be dark brown to black. It doesn't have to be pure black. Dark brown to black is one, and the smell must smell like soil, earthy、嗯、smell. Once you know it's done, it's done. It's just ah, it turns black, and then its smell, the soil smell, the soil smell comes from humus. Yeah, soil smell. The soil smell comes from humus. Ah, burn is nothing lah, unless you burn it to ash. Ah, the sheen is the one. Sorry. Carbon nitrogen. Carbon nitrogen ratio. Carbon C nitrogen.
好像我们拿那个 black soy 先。When you do a total carbon first, fifty percent. If you do a total nitrogen, zero point nine percent. This one we divide. This is how we get CM ratio. So this the. How do you get this? It's a new data. All all less. From where? Of of what soil? This is your what material? Anything you want to test, let's say your sawdust or mm -hmm. actually sawdust. You go test, you test the sawdust. Okay. Ask the lab the question of carbon and nitrogen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is the results they give you. Estimately, lah, example, lah. Oh. This is actually all the data. This is just agak agak. If we take this thing, then send it to him to do the test. Then, this is what we will get. Okay. 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 Hey, but also everything in your post. It just there's a thing like the two things you remember like moisture and moisture. If you put all way all vegetable and everything, so carbon is very high, but you might take longer to compost, but you still compost. Everything can compost. It's just that you just have to manage it. So actually, we can do this on our own if we are composing small scale at home, lah. But if we are in a big farm, we will need to consult with you, lah. Oh, okay. Oh. A little bit more technical, lah. 大家有有菜园啊，如果要找他做 composing 的话，啊，他其实可以来做一点。Tak pun tak pun. Explore ini. Only for five to six years. We only for five years. So at that time, we're living with like thirteen sites of farm oil. Tak pun tak pun. Ada yang bantu untuk bantu kita. So, once the compost is done, the treatment. Yes. So when we next time do composting, can we use like do all this already? We add that one. Correct. Normally, what we do, even in pressure scale, we add ten percent. That'll be our starter compost. So you put it as a bit, add percent to edit it, to kickstart the next batch, which is okay. Small scale's, uh, fruit trees can be used to make the small scale fruit trees, the seed, the seed, the seed, the seed. The thing about using maybe at home, let's just say you need to own compost to be the brown stuff. Can, but sometimes because compost, when you produce the humus, the earthy smell, it has the tendency of absorbing moisture. So your compost can be very wet. Ah, is that's the benefit, man. So when you produce compost, you put the resource. It will help retain water in the soil. So with that, with that in mind, the compost itself will be still wet. If you let's say your vegetable is all wet, then you put what is it called fruits and everything. If you add compost, it should be too wet. Ah, so if in that case, then it's not a compost. You're going to have that foul smell. Hmm, I have a question. So humus actually can can you make humus from within compost? You can use. 这个堆肥的方法做，呃，昨天我跟你讲的那个腐殖酸嘛，还是黄腐酸？嗯。所以我们可以从里面。So when you make this into that uh mature black color soil that is the mature uh compost ready right, you get humus 啊。Yes. Oh, okay. So actually, we can through this method, we can create our own black color soil, black color soil, and black color soil. So we can do this method. So we can do this method. So we can do this method. 它为什么泥土会有那个黑绿色的呃样子哦？它的还有那个呃味道，泥土的味道。其实它刚才有说是从 humus 来的，就是我们的黄腐酸的那个腐殖酸的那个味道啊。那么本来没有这样的颜色的，你一看到它是这样的成分的时候，就是代表说你的 compost 已经成熟了，健康了吗？健康了。This is healthy compost ready, right? But okay, that one actually is a bit dry for like months already. Oh, this one is more dry. That one is just for the smell, for you to know how it smells like. So if you have the earthy smell, confirm for humans already. Oh, so if you have the earthy smell, confirm for humans already. Oh, so if you have the earthy smell, confirm for humans already. Oh, so if you have the earthy smell, confirm for humans already. Oh, so if you have the earthy smell, confirm for humans already. Oh, so if you have the earthy smell, confirm for humans already. How much? Okay, this one is how much? We just add like tablespoon. For whole one is tablespoon. We add directly inside. One one like that. Two tablespoons for this size. Aga aga, if you want to do this size, you can put two tablespoons in your house. Two or three tablespoons. 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 Two or three tabl
this for home composting because for the larger scale one, I will activate first because it's living, living organisms. Uh. So I will take a little bit, activate into water, add molasses, mm. add sugar, uh, and wait for my blood to get. How many do you do? How many do you do? For larger scale one, you aerate first, then you spray onto the wind. So in your home, the method is more simple. Everyone can directly use this to spray it. But if it's a big scale, it's like if we're doing it like a garden, 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 鱼电用的那种啊吹泡器哈，放在里面给它氧气啊，弄它临摹起来先叫醒它。对，要买糖。可以跟蚯蚓缠在一起吗 ？Very good question. Earthworm, I haven't tested it yet. I don't know whether my microbes will interfere, make, make you earthworm. Because I put fungi inside here as well. So earthworm, you have to check. I normally don't recommend mixing yet because certain fungi and certain bacteria will actually catch out the earthworm. Anti don't experiment. Yeah. Normally don't mix, but normally it's like even like the previous presentation and so the frost and everything. You actually can compost the frost first. If let's just say it's not stable yet, you can actually compost it first after. And that means you do pressure drill fire first or earth. So the worm composting, then you do composting again, and then you can apply to the field. So don't do together lah. Normally I would say lah. 哦，如果你们好像有刚才的那个呃黑水猛肥的话，就是里面黑水猛桶，或者里面有蚯蚓桶的话哦，啊，他的建议就是把分开做，就是你们拿到那个黑水猛或者蚯蚓肥的那个产品了过后呢，你们肥了过后呢，你们再去加进去这个堆肥里啊，对，然后你们再次一个过程啊，不要把它放在一起，除非你们自己去 experiment 啊。If you want to apply to the soil, what is the ideal ratio of compost to the soil? For now, okay, if, uh, I got a lot of research for oil farmers, so I'll put oil farm to you or maybe even to you. So normally for one hectare, we will apply from 10 to 20 tons per hectare. So that's about 100 kg per tree. 100 kg of compost per tree for all palm. Oh, if you are doing plant farming, you can apply from 10 to 20 tons per hectare. Very good. 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 Very 你可以也是，完全你们不做，一次也可以放。But any ratio like harvesting, harvesting to this compost application, like I harvest 100 kg of compost, then I put how many? Oh, you don't have to go so technical into that. It's more because it's in the end, so compost is for the soil. The soil to rehabilitate the soil, and it depends whether you put any other fertilizer. If you go with full organic, then definitely. Add more compost because the nutrient comes from the compost. If you're doing like dual system where fertilizer and compost at the same time, then uh, you can lessen the amount of compost and lessen the amount of fertilizer. The idea is to, of course, if you produce more compost, you want to stay on fertilizer. So this is about uh, you can put more compost. Compost you put a lot more is okay, but must be stable compost. Uh. So uh, it's like you won't want to like this waste. This is definitely not stable yet. You throw this and that into the soil, the plant will suffer. Because there's something called uh, nitrogen. What do they call it? I forgot the word. It's sort of nitrogen. Yeah, it's bad. It's nitrogen seeding. Because here there's a lot of carbon. When you throw this directly into the soil, the microbes then need to take the nitrogen, break down this uh, this compost, and then it can return back to the field. But when the microbes take the nitrogen from the soil, the plants suffer. So your plant will turn yellow. So the balance lah. So this one must be stable, but this one must break down to at least thirty to one. So this one is really important to 
mean visualize lah. Oh, okay. Yang tu jom dia. Jadi, kita boleh tidak boleh melakukan perbincangan yang berat. Tapi, kita boleh melakukan perbincangan yang berat. Tapi, kita boleh melakukan perbincangan yang berat. Tapi, kita boleh melakukan perbincangan yang berat. 啊，这个东西等一下我可能可以跟大家讲解一下，但是它基本上是会把泥土里面、土壤里面的那个呃氮质啊，那个 N 肥把它抢掉，因为它还不够成熟。但是成熟了过后呢，我们就是把它肥加下去。那刚才呃，这位安迪有问我们呃，我们怎样知道我们是放过多肥？但是如果我们采取一 kg 或者一百 kg 的那个产量的过后呢，我们需不需要把它放回去这一百 kg？ 那啊、呃，他刚才说，其实我们不需要算得这样清楚，因为我们这个堆肥我们放下去呢，种子是给土壤好的，所以种子。但是买这一部分 ，lot of less red， 还是那一部分，哎，你就可以了。嗯，所以不用算这样子。就我那个，我那个的，我那个的半包的，我是看谁的有。放过也没关系。啊，要换。Like corns require a little bit more acidic, and if your compost is, uh, your compost normally be pH seven, which is neutral. So let's say your your corn it tries better at five pH five point five six. Mm hmm. Ah, so if you grow a hundred percent compost, then your corn won't grow very well. Like kale also pH five point five cannot any higher. Any higher the plant won't grow. Ah, so it depends on your plant. 嗯，看个人种什么。如果你们是种比较什么酸性的东西的话呢，那可能你可以放更多，因为它喜欢酸性的泥土。但是如果呃 ，if the plant don't like acid environment， then we put too much also no good right？ The plant like acid environment， we put too much compost and no good。哦 ，OK， 哦，是好讲。如果我们的植物喜欢酸性的呃环境的话呢，如果我们的土壤放太多，这个呢反而就不好。But normally that one is if you grow hundred percent in compost 啊。如果是一百八十，你们用这个恐怖材种啊，就是我们当做一种。Yeah, it's mixed already. Ah, it's very good, hundred percent. So it mixes to be actually, it's safer if you mix it. If mix, if you only grow on soil, if you only mix it, it's okay. Just don't grow hundred percent compost. Some plants can, some plants cannot. Okay, okay, okay. 不要用一百八十，你们当然要参与。就拉六八十，当然八十了。太肥了，太肥了，太肥了。Exactly. I'm actually done. Is any other questions? 还有其他问题吗？啊、uh, ，maybe you can show us how to use this. Okay. Okay. For this one, if you let's say you have a got big house or land at the side, you can actually use this one. They come in fancy. How much? Four hundred plus. Two hundred plus, please. Actually, honestly, you go shopping can find one. Ah, you go shopping can find one. So here got two compartments. Okay. So you can actually put all your waste inside here. Okay. Then you mix it up with your sawdust or whatever ground. Okay. Actually, you don't, if you don't have sawdust, okay, you can use uh, leaf clippings. But you cut up. Uh, cut the leaf clippings finer. Go ahead, suit it. You put all in one side. Normally, I would say you leave a slightly higher part. Okay, you should pass it. Because if you put too full, you cannot turn. Because you know what? So you put a slightly higher part. Then you can cut it. Don't go too much. Don't put too much. Don't put too much. 每天讲一次，越去呢越好。啊，所以有 two batches， 啊，我每天啊，所以它这是两个桶的强项。But this one, okay, this system here, you might actually this all aeration holes, but when you turn, it will come out one, so normally you will get it. 哦，它这些小小的洞是是它的那个空气的，但是我们没有用粘纸粘起来也可以。Yeah, breathe lah, breathe very good. So it's better if you keep it, or if you're okay, you coming out outdoor and everything, that's okay. Oh, if you're outside, you can breathe. Manpower, manpower, manpower. 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 Manpower, manpower.
I can't see that's it in the one in the in the restaurant. 30 days okay. Oh, 30 days you can change. 30 days you can change. So now they add the food veins, they add the soda, then they add the microbes, and it turns it turns. But they doesn't be eaten every day, lah. Oh, you know, you know, the food. You give your kids a lot of 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 food. Correct, correct. Normally, okay. To be honest, this one tumbler enough for four days. Oh, they will produce many there. That's why now they start with one lah, but they're gonna increase lah. They're gonna buy a few more. Ah, yeah, yeah. This one, I'm rushing lah. Sorry, so I haven't fully, haven't finished putting all the screws yet. But looks solid already lah. Yeah, lah. This is okay. It's quite easy to use. You just turn. How much? Two hundred something. Two hundred something. Two hundred ninety. Two hundred ninety. Two hundred ninety. Two hundred ninety. ยังไม่เอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเลยเอาเ